Hello, and welcome to Merlin's Manor. Today I'm going to be playing through Act 2 and Act 3 of Slay the Spire. This is a continuation of my game from the previous video where I went through Act 1. You can check it out here if you haven't already done so, and then come back and join for the rest. Let's go ahead and start setting up the rest for Act 2. We've already got our cards set out. We're going to go ahead and place these on the different spaces here. I guess I could be flipping those as I did that. Now let's just jump right into our first fight here. Revealing the monster. You got the Chosen, who is going to start with 16 health. It has an ability here that is gray. It's only going to happen the very first time, and from then on, it's not going to do anything. It's also spawning in a bird. So grab a bird there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get ready for this first fight. Bird gets four. And bird has flying, which means it takes a max of one damage from each sword. We got a two, which isn't very helpful for me. Very helpful for the bird. It's going to do three damage this round. And the chosen is going to do one and add a daze to my draw pile. Okay, at the start of my turn, I do gain an extra energy because I have Sozu as a relic here. But I can't gain any potions anymore. I still can use the one potion I'd already gained, the energy potion here. But once that's gone, no more potions for me. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That shouldn't be in my deck. Nor should Diva form. Okay. Here we go. So, what are we doing with our four energy? They're attacking for four this round. I could use Wish, gain a bunch of defense, and use my Retain to retain it into the next round. Let's do that, because that sounds like fun. So, one, two, three energy to gain 10 block. By the way, the max block you can get is 20, even though it only goes up to 10 on here. And in fact, I might even go ahead and do... Oh, I forgot to get my Miracle to start out with. I'm going to do Prostrate. So I'm going to gain an 11th block. And a Miracle. It's going to take a Miracle. And I've got two of them. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen here. This person is going to do one damage. So boom. That can go away. This person is going to do one, two, three. And by the way, I went ahead and did once per combat. Keep your leftover block from last turn. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't do three. I was reading the wrong line. One, two, three. He's going to do a strengthen. Oh, well, maybe that would have made it better if we do something else. But I don't know. Did this now. So reset to four energy. Oh, and I also should have gained a daze. So this last card is going to go there. Let's roll the die and see what happens. A six, which means I'll be able to get one more block, or I can do one extra damage. Let's go ahead and do one extra damage. So boom, boom. So what's basically happening there is for six, I'm doing a damage, and then trigger a die relic ability, I'm doing the six again. So I get two damage to that guy. I'm going to enter Wrath for one. The strength went to birds, sorry. And a wrath for one. It's going to do two damage. Let's leave that one alone. Do one, two. And then we're going to do this, which is going to do a damage to that guy. And two damage to this guy. That guy can only take one damage from each sword, so. Then I'm going to do a strike on the bird. He is gone. This doesn't do me any good. I really need to get more retain cards. Or get rid of this card. I might as well. Got the extra energy. This goes away. And then he's going to do three damage. One, two, three. Give me two of these. 
And manager's gonna reset to four. Block's gonna go down to zero. Play this one for one. I get to draw two cards and enter neutral. Actually, no, I'm gonna do strike first before I do that. So I can do one, two damage to him. And then I'm gonna play this card, entering neutral. Drawing two cards. He's gonna come down here. He's gonna be hitting for five and strengthening. Let's go ahead and do cut through fate. He's gonna do one damage to him. And I can scry two, draw one. Go ahead and toss defend, and I'm gonna draw a Ragnarok. Did I roll the die? I don't think I rolled a die. Four. I can do one damage to him and get one block. I'm going to spend two miracles to get two energy. I'm going to do Ragnarok, which is going to go one, two, three, four, five down to three. For better or worse, I'm going to take a big hit. So one, two, three, four. No, actually, I'm not going to take the big hit. Yeah, I will take the big hit. Save my energy potion for later. When I really need it. Because I can't get any more potions anyway at this point. And he's also going to gain strengthen. These are the two cards that were left over. Three, four, and five. Let's see here. Now Ragnarok came right back up. Which would finish him off, so let's... Boom. Now, what would have been the roll? Nothing for me. So he is gone. The rewards are two gold. And a card. Let's see. Conclude. Wallop or Crescendo? I'm gonna grab Wallet. I like the fact that it does both attack and block in the same card. Moving on up here, we're gonna do an event. These go away. Golden Shrine. Before you lies an elaborate shrine to an ancient spirit. I can pray, gain two gold, or desecrate, gain seven gold and a curse. Let's go ahead and desecrate. I ain't afraid of no curse. Unplayable. End of turn. If this card is in your hand, lose one shield. You got lots of money. Gonna do another event. I didn't even look at what pathway I was gonna take. I just moved forward. Oh, actually, I should have gone. I just realized that pathway. Yeah, let's go this pathway because that pathway would make it to where I'd never go to a shop. So I did this event and then we come here. I always like to have at least one shop on my pathway. I'd like to have more than one. Okay, that's all shuffled up and ready to go. We're going to do a regular monster here. The Centurion is going to have 15 health. He's going to spawn in a Mystic. Who is going to have 12 health. And Fury, when the Mystic in this row dies, he'll strengthen and only take the bottom action. Starting out with 4 energy. Don't forget to add my miracle. Let's see. Well, I don't have a whole lot going on. Let's roll and see what we're doing here. Five, which means I get a block. And can do one damage to somebody. Kind of feel like getting rid of the mystic because 
He has a tendency to heal all enemies for three. Of course, anything I do this turn isn't going to do much because he's just going to heal. Whatever. He's going to do three damage, so if I can protect from three damage, that would be good. Let's go ahead and do Empty Mind. Draw us two cards. And I got this card come up. I guess I do three Defend. And then because this was in my hand, I lose one shield. I'm going to retain Inner Wrath and Exhaust when I use it. And I'm going to discard Establishment. So, this guy is going to do three damage. And this guy is going to heal. Strike, Defend, Wish, Ragnarok. Third eye, and that's it. Wow, Ragnarok, what are you doing? And why is Ragnarok and Wish coming up together? Roll and see what's going to happen. Three, so he's just going to shield the Mystic for three. The Mystic is going to add strength to all enemies. So it kind of have, have a free round for the most part. Oh, I didn't refresh this after the last round. What do I do with my free round? I could crescendo into Ragnarok. Yeah, let's do that. Crescendo. It's going to allow me to enter Wrath. And that exhausts. And then Ragnarok. I'm going to do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 because I'm in Wrath. Who needs 10 damage dealt to them? I feel the Mystic needs 10 damage dealt. So that's, no, it was one, no, wait. Crescendo is free. And then one, two, three for that. And then I can do third eye to get two block and scry three. So prostrate, strike, and eruption. I definitely want that to come up. That could be handy. And that could pair well with. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep what we have there. That cost me my last energy. Okay. So this guy. Uh, I should have attacked him. Oh well. He's going to strengthen. Well, first guy. This guy. That guy's gonna act. He's gonna give three shield to the mystic. I really should have. Maybe just struck him, but oh well. There we go. Actually, I did have this. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and strike him before the end of the round. Because it would have done two damage, he'd be dead. Um, this guy is still going to get a strengthen because he gets strengthened when that guy dies. But now he's no longer something to worry about. So that was a good use of a miracle. And so he's only going to do the bottom action now. Oh, that could be problematic. One, two... Three, four, and I take one for the wrath. Hmm. Yeah, that wasn't the best idea in the moment. But I'm not gonna retcon or retcon. Okay, so with four. Uh, roll the dice, see what I get at least. Six, which means I do one damage and gain. Either shield or damage. I'm going to get a shield. I'm going to do that to get a shield and a miracle. I'm going to use eruption to do one, two, three damage. I'm already in wrath. I'll do cut through fate for one energy. I'm going to do one, two damage. 
I scry two, draw a card. Oh, if only that were. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna leave this one for next round. Draw that one up. Or not to draw it up, but discard it. No, no, draw it up, that's right. And then I'm gonna spend my miracle so that I can do vigilance for two. I get two shield and I enter calm. So he's going to do one, two, three to me, which is fine because of my block there. Covered it all. Got these three cards, plus I shuffle. Oh, four actually, I forgot about it. Strengthen. Two more cards, defend and cut through fate. Okay, let's go ahead and get this underway with the four energy. Might as well do this for free. Do this for free. It's gonna be one damage. Let's do wallop, which is gonna be one, two damage and two shield. Two energy. Let's do this. Scry two. Draw one. Oh. Can't play Ragnarok, so I guess I have to discard it so that Empty Mind comes to hand. Now with Empty Mind, I can draw two cards and go to neutral. So I spend an energy, draw two cards, and move to neutral, which gives me two more energy. Did I roll the die? If I did, I should have gotten an extra block. I don't think I rolled the die. One. I'm going to go ahead and make that a six means I can get a block and deal one damage. I'm going to strike for one and defend for one. Okay. He is going to hit for four with the strengthen which is my shield, so no big deal there. And let's see what we can do. I can do two damage, he needs three. So let's play Vigilant. One, two, goes to Calm. This one costs one, goes one, two. I get to Scry three. Yeah, wrong order. I'm gonna get rid of that card. And I get rid of... No, I'll keep that card. Okay. So I've got four shield. In my last energy, I'm going to strike for one. And then on his turn, four damage. I am fine. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, that's going to make me lose a shield. Ah, I only got one strike in this. Okay, let's do that to start off with. It's going to be one shield and one miracle. Two defends and a strike. And I lose one shield because of that. Oh my word, I lose two health. Being nickel and dimed here. We got one, two, three, four, five cards. Ragnarok just came up, so I believe that's the end of this game. Boom. Okay. So, rewards are one gold and a card.
I'll reach heaven could be fine if I used wish to get a bunch of miracles. Could be a seven damage attack. Flying sleeves as a retain. I think I'm gonna go with flying sleeves. Because if I get that one power out, it could become free if I wanted to do it that way. And I just put those in the wrong place. I'm gonna stop doing that. And I can retain it until a time when I have my wrath going on. We're gonna come shopping. Set this out, and we're gonna see what kind of potions I could have gotten if I could get potions. I don't care about any of those potions anyway, so that's good. Once per combat, gain strength for one attack. On a two, you gain two energy. That could be helpful. When you add a skill to your deck, upgrade it, use this three times, then discard it. I think I'm going to do this one since it's only five, right? Now let's sell the cards, see what we can get. First time you enter Wrath each turn, draw two cards. Oh, golden ticket just came up. What do we get? Conjure Blade. When played, place cubes on this equal to X plus one. Your starter strikes deal extra damage equal to the number of cubes on this. Man, that could be fun. It costs six to get it. Don't know that that's worth it. I don't think that's worth it. I might get the Sundial. It gives me two energy to work with. Where do I need to get rid of? Oh, I need to get rid of a card. I need to get rid of that curse. I need to spend three to get rid of this curse. So, one, two, three. Curse is gone. Man, that would be fun, but now I'm out. One, two, three, four, five. First time you enter Wrath each turn, draw two cards. Ooh, if you would discard this card while scrying and said play it and deal five damage. Let's go ahead and do that. I got some scry going on. Cost me three, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, it's a uh, rare, so it costs three. Not rare, uh, uncommon. So it costs three. Okay, let's move on to this guy with one health, so be easy on me. Okay, we got a bird who's going to summon two more birds. Remember, these guys can only take one damage, which isn't good for the Watcher. Makes Wrath not even worth it. So I need to keep from taking any damage. Let's roll and see what we get. Four means we're gonna shield one and do a damage. Let's take out the easiest to kill, I guess. Alright, on four, what are they doing? They're doing the same thing, so. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what we got? We got wallop. We got Ragnarok, we got Cut Through Fate, and Vigilant. Do Ragnarok, it could insta-kill somebody. So yeah, let's do Ragnarok. We got one, two, three, four, and five. Cost me three. I can use my Miracle to play Vigilant. So... I have three shield, and I'm entering calm. Okay. This guy is dead. This guy is going to strengthen. This guy is going to do one, two damage. Roll the dice. On a two, they're going one, one, and that guy's going three. So that guy's not going to be around much longer for zero energy.
So this guy is going to lose one. This guy is going to lose one. I think I'm about to die. Dumb ways to die. Gaining strength doesn't do any good because these guys can only take one damage. Man, I just got clobbered. As you see, I can do... One, two. I can do another one. I can do another one. This guy dies. And if I had an attack in my hand, I'd be fine, but I have a defend. And one defense is not enough to cover that damage. So... That's literally all she wrote. So I'm not going to make it to Act 3. Didn't even make it to the Act 2 boss. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you in the next one.